Okay, I've got a confession to make. I'm a little bit addicted to IT certifications. Ah, no, I'm a lot of bit addicted. I love the entire process. I love studying, I love learning new technologies and labbing new technologies. Not to even mention the opportunities we have with IT certifications. New jobs, new careers, raises. It's, it'll change your life. I even love taking the actual certification exam. Well, sometimes. If I'm being honest, there is one thing I would change, and that's where I take the exam. For me, personally, I just do not like going to those testing centers. Now, I know a lot of people do. They prefer it that way. For me, I just I just don't like it. But this has changed. I've got big news. Okay, here it is. Here's the news. Organizations like CompTIA, the sponsor of this video. Thank you, CompTIA. They've made it possible to take our IT certification exams from home, right? I isn't that amazing? I, I, I've been waiting for this. This is huge. Can I, can I take a second and tell you why I love this? The first thing I love about this is that I get my time back. Time is by far my most valuable resource. I mean, I've got four kids <laughs> and I'm constantly studying. For me to go to a testing center, that's an hour drive, 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back. I instantly get that time back because I can now take my exam from home. Now, speaking of time, my number two reason of why I love this change, I have a lot more control on when I take an exam. Just trying to find the time to take my exam was often kind of a, a difficult part of the process. Between things at work and things with my kids and my family, I just couldn't find a time to get away. Okay, how about Thursday at three? No, one of the kids has a dentist appointment. Uh, what about Friday at 10? I have a dentist appointment. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Saturday at 12. No, we're hanging out with your family that day. Eh, I don't need that certification anyway. But now that we have remote testing, it's almost a non-issue. I can take it at home between the kids' nap times. I can take it at work during my lunch hour. As long as I have a quiet place that's distraction-free, then I can take that exam. And also, I'm not dependent on the business hours of a testing center. You see, these places aren't open 24-7. And sometimes, there just aren't time slots available at these testing centers. But with remote testing, we actually have a lot more time slots available, and we can schedule them in a time that makes more sense for us. No more taking time off work or um, taking time away from your family and where it doesn't need to be taken away. Now, on to number three, by far my top reason. My office is better. <laughs> my home is better. It's a better environment for me to take an exam than someplace else. Now, I'm about to exaggerate just a little bit, but in my experience, testing centers aren't the most um, comfortable places to take a test in. Okay, go in there and shut up. Don't make a sound. Now again, that's just my experience. I know a lot of these testing centers are posh, like they're nice and they're great for taking a test in. But for me, I'm a little more high maintenance than that. But I know when I go to take an exam, I just don't like having to give them everything I ever owned on me, my, my wallet, my keys, my phone, my watch, uh, and whatever else I have with me. Then you have to talk very quietly and whisper as they walk you back into the room. And you're in an unfamiliar environment. You are using a computer that you've never seen before, a keyboard that you don't know who's touched, a dry erase board with a marker that may or may not work, and then you just can't erase anything, so you're often using your hand. Now again, I'm exaggerating. Most of my experiences have been great. I've had some of my greatest victories at a testing center, passing all my exams. But as you can tell, I'm very, very excited about this change. What do you think? Are you excited about remote testing? Are you going to schedule your next exam from home? Or do you prefer testing centers? Let me know below. What are you most excited about or do you hate this? <laughs> Let me know below. So right now, here on this video, I'm going to schedule my next exam. You wanna do it with me real quick? I'm gonna take my Linux Plus exam through CompTIA and I'm gonna schedule it right here in the comfort of my office. I, I'm excited to do that. It's gonna be so fun. All right, here we go. We're gonna schedule an exam right now. First, we're gonna to go to pearsonview.com. pearsonview.com. Now I'm wanting to take a test, so I'm gonna to go to four test takers right here at the top, and I'll select schedule an exam. Let's do it. If I scroll down to just about the middle, you'll see I have an option to search for the testing organization. In this case, my case, it'll be CompTIA. So I'll search for CompTIA. There it is. I'll select that. I'll scroll down, and at this point, we will sign in or create an account. So if this is your first time ever taking a certification exam through Pearson View, first of all, I'm so excited for you. And second, you will need to create an account. If you already have one, get logged in. I will get logged in. I'll click sign in and then I will again click sign in. Now to find the exam I want to take. So I'll click on view exams right here in my dashboard and then I'll search for it. I'm taking the Linux Plus. There it is, XK0004 and click go. Now right here is crucial. 
what are you going to do at home or at a testing center? I say, no, <laughs> no testing center. I'm going to do this right here at my home or office or my home office. Now we're at the point where we run our pre-check. Now, please do this before you even move past the screen and schedule an exam, run your pre-check because you have to make sure your computer can do what it needs to do for this test. Also, your network has to be tested. So let's go through this right now. You can see me test mine. Hopefully I'm good. I'll click on run pre-check. I will allow it to use my microphone and my camera. Now my microphone is golden, but my webcam isn't working. You will need a webcam and a microphone to talk to the proctor. The person who'll be watching you while you take the exam and making sure you don't cheat. Anyways, it's selecting the wrong webcam. I'm going to change that to my C920 here. And there I am. So my mic, my internet speed, and my webcam are golden. I'll click next. And that was it. I'm good. So now I can continue with scheduling my exam. So I'll close this window and click on next. Again, do not skip the pre-check. I'll agree to all the terms and conditions. And I oh, missed one and another one. Then I'll click next. I don't want to test my Japanese, so I'll do it in English and click next. It shows me real quick again what I'm taking, what exam I'm taking and how much it's going to be. And I can move on next. I'm not a veteran. Click next. And now it's time to schedule my exam. Now, when should I take this? You know what? I'm going to do it in two weeks. No, I'm going to do it in three weeks. <laughs> Friday the 29th. Let's do that. And that's a ton of time slots. That's amazing. I tend to be at my sharpest right in the morning. So I'll do it around 9, 15 AM after I've had enough coffee to function. And that's it. Like that, that's all I'm set. Friday, May 29th, 9, 15 AM, right here in the comfort of my home office. <laughs> that's so cool. Now let's go pay for it. Proceed to checkout. Now we have some more testing policies to um, agree to, but these are important. Check this out. First, you should do another system check right before your exam. So even if you did it right now before you scheduled it, do it again later. You know how computers are. They, some things change. Some things don't work right when you want them to. So make sure you do it right before the exam. Or I, I say right before. Let's do it like half an hour before. Let's give you, yourself some breathing room, some troubleshooting room. And then just like exams at the testing center, you'll need a, a valid form of ID that's not expired. So have that with you. You'll have to show it to the, the camera. And then on exam day, this is the site you'll go to. PearsonView.com, CompTIA, on view. Let's jump to there real quick. This is what it will look like. As I scroll down, I can run my system test again. Please do that. Um, I've already scheduled my exam. And then you'll sign in to begin your exam. Looking back at my cart, I got to finish my purchase here. Oh, and another thing real quick. Please note that you are required to have a clean and clutter-free workstation during check-in. The proctor will ask you to perform a room and desk scan, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, for real, this will happen. So like I have my webcam here. What you'll have to do is take this and show it around your, your space here and make sure you don't have any, you know, written things up on the board that might give you answers to a test. Don't inspect your desk for any notes. And it's up to that proctor you're dealing with whether or not you have a satisfactory environment. Now the exam I took at home, it was a similar environment to this. I had all my stuff up. Um, I showed them my environment. And as long as I had everything out of the way, I was good and they watched me the entire time I took the exam. And it seems the reschedule and cancellation policy is pretty cool now. Uh, before you had to do it within 48 hours to cancel or reschedule uh, for the, the test center, it seems like we can do it right up to the time, which is super cool. Now, if you fail to show up, you lose your fee. So just don't fail to show up. And then just some other information, like you can't take a break during the exam, like, hey, I have to go to the bathroom real quick because I need to go look up some answers. No, you can't do that. Your exam will be over if you try to do that. And then water in a glass is allowed. And I'm hoping that that also means coffee and a glass. So I'll see. Actually, I just checked and no coffee allowed. So get your coffee like right before the exam. That's what I'm going to do. But you can't eat, smoke, or chew gum. So I'm good with all that. I'm going to click accept and pay. Now I have a voucher code. I'm going to slide mine in there real quick. Apply that. Click on next. We're almost done. I think this is the last step here. Submit order May 29th taking my Linux Plus, and I'm booked. All right, taking my Linux Plus from right here. Don't have to go anywhere. That is the absolute best. Uh, huge thanks to CompTIA for sponsoring this video and allowing us to take exams from home. Such a killer thing. Now, real quick, if 2020 is your year to get a ton of CompTIA certifications and you're, you're going to become awesome, that, that's what I'm asking. Are you, you going to become awesome this year? I highly encourage you to get their store club membership. What is that? Well, check it out real quick. I've got a link below, but here's what it is. You pay $49 for an entire year to get 20% off. And just looking at exam vouchers alone, if you're taking the Linux Plus, A Plus, the CYSA, which I'll be working on, by the way, any of those exams, you get 20% off a voucher. 
it's kind of a no-brainer because if you schedule like the Linux Plus exam, it costs $350. If you buy this and you get 20% off that exam price, you save $70. So CompT is actually paying you $20 to sign up for this. Pretty cool. Again, check out the link below for that. And also all the links you need to sign up for an exam, to, to do your system tests and everything will also be below. Also let me know if you're gonna schedule an exam from home and why you love that the same way I do. Okay, well I better stop talking because I have some studying to do. I've got a test in three weeks. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.